Hi, in this short video, I'm going to give you some hints about how you can run the Polyumod library with Abacus standard in a better way and get slightly faster convergence typically. So the way I do this is to just open up to start with uh, some of the test cases that come with the Polyumod library. So if you go to this uh, on the Windows computer, the C drive poly program files, Polymer FEM, Polyumod test cases, Abacus, and they are two specific test cases uh, that use the Polyumod test case two explicit and implicit. So this hint only works for implicit simulations. So I'm going to open this file uh, with Notepad++. And if we scroll all the way down, you'll see that in my test case, I have this specific command in it. I say start controls parameters equal to time incrementation. And I actually change the time incrementation parameters a little bit here. And um, this is the, the recommended setting that I, that I give to people when they use the Polyumod library with Abacus standard. And the reason for this is that this allows Abacus to take a few more attempts for each increment before it gives up and, um, and cuts time, basically. So it allows you to take larger time increments, and that often gives faster uh, results in the end. So, so that's how you do it. So how would you know that? Well, this is also uh, written in the Polyumod manual. You can open the Polyumod manual if you just go to an M calibration window or click on Polyumod manual. That will open a PDF file that contains the information they were interested in. You can also find a Polyumod manual if you just go to Polymer FEM on your C drive, Polyumod uh, documentation, and that's the manual. It's a PDF file. So if I go into here, we can uh, start from the top. Uh, I do recommend you at least read through some pages at the beginning of this file here. Let me fit page, and then we'll go down a little bit here. And it has some global parameters that are useful, so you should read those. Um, what I'm looking for is that the time incrementation for implicit simulations. This is written right here. So this is where I mentioned how you can set this within CAE as well. Uh, you basically change the parameters to the values given here. You can also edit them directly in the IMP file. And my experience is that this makes your simulation run with larger time increments and also faster uh, so that's a good thing to do, and it doesn't influence the results in any way. It just makes your simulation run faster. So that's it. If you have any questions, ask them below.